Thanks to time. All right, now we move onward to Falkland. Hey, Duke. Virgo stream before bed. Yeah, it's 8.30 right now. In the mountain time zone, it's 8.30. I'll probably be on for like another hour or so. We'll get like an hour and see how much progress we can make. Because I am a little tired, but I do want to get some progression. Trade route for merchants crossing the scars. Until the Republic laid a new road wide enough to let wagons pass. And all official traffic moved there. Leaving this one for those living outside the law. Indeed. I doubt we'll be the only outlaws on the trail today. But we'll be the biggest outlaws. What was the new yucky mode idea now that Duke is here from two days ago? Ah, oh, shit. I can't even remember. I'll be honest. Sure, what was what was the hyaki mode? Does anyone remember what the hyaki mode was? So what do you think? <laughs> How nice. They have a hard way of their own. I'm trying to remember what it was. Ow. God, I'm getting my shit kicked in by this guy. What am I even doing? I forgot to change the name. Listen, I forgot to change it. I'm just a man. Big boy took a lot of damage. Just like you never seen a big boy on the roof. We've done the Republic a service. I never seen a big boy getting on the roof. Never seen a big boy getting on the roof. I see the Dalnex lag behind Rosaria when it comes to bridge building. Yeah, a little bit. The, should hold at least. the path continues on the other side. Ah, oh, there's an item over there. Well, these are enemies. Yeah. 
Oh, that was easy. Freaking Burgle Banana shouldn't even exist, to be honest. Like, that's like the stupidest emote ever. Yet it's like the most used emote I see in my Twitch chat. Along with I don't feel so yuck. It was kind of Burgle W was the most popular one, but freaking Burgle Banana and I don't feel so yuck. I see those fuckers everywhere. Even in other chats, I see them being used a lot. Like, what's the point of using Burgle Banana in another chat that's not mine? Is it to just give off the emotions that you want to spread? Just, yep, oh, this is me, Burgle Banana. So this is a Megas. It is a Megas. Hey, Becca. The gods. It's even more impressive than I imagined. I remember being captivated by the story as a child. Long, long ago, man was overcome by avarice and challenged the gods in a bid to win their power. The final battle took place here at these falls. Part of your identity, my condolences. So the legend goes. Wow, you gifted a sub. If Thanks. If anyone ever manages to plumb those depths, perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. That the gods emerged victorious and punished man for his defiance by visiting upon him two curses. Zeo, thanks for gifting us up the snowman. Snowman, enjoy those emotes. Oh, in Paris. To tell the truth, I always thought it strange that the dominant and their icons were deemed a curse. I agree. Back home, the dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, not spurned. Whenever I got to that part of the story, I always assumed there must be something I'd misunderstood. You had a lot of storybooks, didn't you? In your room, I mean. When we were young. The old legends were always my favorites. Epic battles between gods and men. Father encouraged me to read as much as I could. He thought it good for my education. You really were a boy like any other, weren't you? I wish I could grow up as sexy as Clive. But just look at this place. Alas. I can't. It's enough to make you believe the legends are true. I know. Also, my hair doesn't look this bad. It's the light, man. I'm telling you, it's the lighting and the green screen and all that. Like, I promise you. Promise you, it's the lighting. Clive? Something wrong? He's glad, thanks. Nothing. I don't know, this guy's... Nothing. He's a pretty hot man. He's a he's one good looking individual. Yeah, the angle as well, like come on, it's better than this, trust me. It's better than this. I see the reports are true, father. You have surrendered the throne Ooh, to Olivier. I'm very intrigued by this. I have. Emperor Olivier shall rebuild the Holy Empire. I hate Olivier. Not his fault. I just hate the mother. How is he to rule an empire? He is but a boy. I shall advise him until he comes of age. Father, please. Or for as long as I am able. The empire we seek to build needs young blood to rule it. And I can think of none better suited to the task. You old piece of shit. There is other news, Dion. I feel bad for Dion. Hugo Kupka is dead and Drake's fang destroyed. The pillars of the Republic have fallen. Him and Joshua talked. Dion. Along the imperial banner shall fly over every city in storm. And then Valisthea. All shall bow before their emperor. 
Father, these nice are job, the A1. words of a tyrant. They are the words of a god. The emperor whom I gladly serve. Great Grieger made flesh. Return to your camp, Dion, and ready your forces. It is time to show the world the true power of Sambrek. Oh, I really hope Dion betrays him. Really hope he has a coup. I find you. I like Dion. Changed. Ever since he got shown in the beginning, I've liked him. Is this truly the path you wish to tread? Or are these the ambitions of another? Of Ultima, perhaps? What nonsense is this? I speak my mind. And my mind only. Though I do owe Annabella thanks. For reminding me of certain truths. God, I hate you, Annabella. Regarding the nature of nation, of rulers, and of the divine. You will trust the words of this traitress. She betrayed her country. She slew her husband. You have ever been an invaluable servant to Sambrek, Prince Dion. I trust you will continue to serve your emperor in the wars to come. The canker! Silence! Insolent wretch! You will bend the knee. All else is heresy. Sire, forgive me. This audience is over. Come, your radiance. The Rowena Syndicate awaits your pleasure. No, oh, not another meeting with silly old men. They're so boring. <laughs> ah. I'm hungry, Father. Can't we have luncheon instead? I feel like... Does it pain you oh. that you will not inherit your father's throne? I have suffered worse. <laughs> I really want to see Don't her die. Blessings, Dion. Really want to see her die. One child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher, lest your impure blood stain the throne. What do you know of my blood? Is she homophobic? I'm getting real homophobia vibes from Annabella. She everything phobic? She just looks like God God, I fucking hate her. She, I, I hate her. To the north. Ugh. Need to hug the coast. All bad vibes. I hate her, man. I the, 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 the developers are doing a good job of making a character that I just hate so much. Olivier, I like her kid. I don't really hate the kid as much. He's kind of just forced in that situation. In and it just makes you feel bad for Dion. Easy with the Imperials on high alert. No. His radiance has lost one capital already. We can be sure Sylvester will do everything it, in his power to hold on to Twinside. It makes me wonder what trained and increasingly battle hardened. But I'm talk. it's not as if we can wait for the siege to end. I, I God, I just hate her. I hate her. I want to see Dion join our side, because then we'll have three titans, or not three titans, three icons with Dion, Joe, and Clive. Company. 
but the icons have been the main bosses every single time. Oh man, I just... Come on, Dion. But we still have Joshua the Phoenix on our side as well. We just don't can see him ever. Joshua's doing his own thing. That's right. He said he'd wait for us here after replenishing his supplies. I dare say he'll have finished by now. Oh, does she still uh does Annabella still assume Joshua's dead? She hates she freaking hates Clive. But does she know? She thinks Joshua's dead still. Oh man. Oh man, when she's gonna see Joshua, that's gonna be incredible to see. Wonders from across the water. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes. Good sir, can I interest you in uh... how much? For a measly crust of bread? You won't find any cheaper. Not nowadays. But you're more than welcome to look. Yeah, that's uh, Annabella from that last scene is Clive's mother. Clive's had a harder life. He's he's a rough, tough man now. The Empire's unlawful and illegitimate occupation of the Crystalline Dominion is still in effect. Only those whose business in Twinside has been officially approved by the Republican Army will be permitted to cross the border. All who seek entry at a former line Man, and ready their sucks. documents I'm gonna be in dead in 45 minutes. inspection. I'm tired, but I want to see the story. They're checking everyone. Can't you make an Not for the likes of you. We won't get through without that pass. Let's go in to find good, shall we? I don't think I recognize though. I, I'll be. I'll make Clive. You got a pretty memorable face. He must be around here somewhere. Taste my peaches. They're sweet. The cutscenes have been some of my favorite parts in this game, and I, I'm usually not the biggest on the cutscenes. Anything of this quality in Twinside? The caravan stops next to the checkpoint. On your way. I got like 45 minutes until I'm getting ready for a shower. I need to get to bed early because my cat's going to wake me up at goddamn 530. The main question is, do I stream this to start the stream tomorrow? Or do I save a little bit for more burgle? And do I just try to beat the goddamn uh, jump game? What the hell's Goots? Oh, God, I walked right by him. Hey, Goots. There you are. Clive, I, I'm so sorry. Don't tell Nan, will you? Slow down, Goots. Just tell us what happened. It's me trader's pass. It's gone. We cannot ride the caravan without it. We won't even be able to get through the flipping checkpoint. Do you remember when you last saw it? It was in me pocket a minute ago. Then a band bumped into me and... Yeah. You don't think that they might have nicked it, do you? It wouldn't surprise me. A busy market like this is prime territory for pickpockets. This is the Burgle Cozy okay. Stream. Pass back. We need to find this child. Where would we even start? <gasps> no, tonight I'm just tired. I've got a pal in Bocklad who might be able to help us. I also just get really sweaty in this room, and I work a lot on YouTube. I should shut up. Where do we find her? She's the owner of the Crimson Caravans up that way. Sound's got a red chocobo on it. No time like the present. You two go on ahead. I'm gonna check the rest of my stuff, make sure no one else is missing. All right. <laughs> we'll meet you there. Let's keep an eye out for this red chocobo then. And the other one, our person. Yeah, I've been doing some shorter streams here and there. I was just trying to get some YouTube videos out, and I got them out, and now I need to start another one. Probably tomorrow I'll start another one. Gave myself a couple... Whenever I get, like, big project videos done, I usually take a couple days before I start the next one. I think I walked right by it. Oh, Red Chocobo. There it is. Looking to hire a coach? It's 10 million for a two-birder to the Crystalline Dominion. Take it or leave it. Oh, we're not here for that. 
Then I bid you good day. Oh, wait! Just don't go, Elle! He's been made! As I live and breathe. Goots, what are you doing He's back in Brooklad? <laughs> I gather Lady Karen didn't send you. Is that Lady Karen's daughter? So what trouble have you got yourself into this time? Uh, it's me trader's pass. It got stolen. By little Ben. Of all the... You're the size of a marble. Honestly. Ugh. Goots told us that you know the markets well. Might you have an idea which little Ben could have done this? We don't intend to punish them. We just need our pass back. Then we can be on our way. God, so hot. Magic going facial hair like that too. So neither of you has a trader's pass either. Five o'clock shadow. <laughs> Not that anyone would take you for traders, but I suppose that's why you came to me, correct? Glad you're talking like no, Clive. I can't say for sure who we'll took the way. pass. But I suspect I know why they did it. Let me explain. All right. Oh, we don't get to hear the explanation. Okay. Fine. Ever since the Fist marched on the Dominion, the Republic has been clamping down on any commerce that might aid the Empire more than it does us. Which means traders' passes have gone from being merely a way of easing one's progress to being essential if one wishes to cross the border at all. And with demand outstripping supply, they've become a precious commodity, leading some to seek to acquire them by less than legitimate means. So the children are stealing passes to sell on the black market? Yes and no. Passes are inscribed with the names of their owners, and yet, none of the victims' names have appeared on the register of those passing through the checkpoint. Which means? That someone is doctoring the stolen passes. The same someone who is encouraging the children to steal them. And the same someone who has Goots's pass, no doubt. Whoever they are, they're ruining the livelihoods of honest merchants. Which is why we've decided to take a stand. Will you stand with us? You want to get your pass back. And we want to ensure that no more are stolen. Catch whoever's behind it all. And two birds shall be slain with a single stone. I can do that. Is there any other way of getting to the Crystalline Dominion goods? They won't let you in if you're not with the caravan. It's that, uh... I don't know. Try swimming across the strip. But... But the guards will definitely spot you if you try and do that. Like, uh, we don't want to get spotted, right? <laughs> Goots is so silly. Find the people who took the pass will give up all hope of entering the Dominion. All right. We'll help. Thank you kindly. Um, yeah. But I don't know your name. Eloise at your service. Clive. A pleasure doing business with you, Clive. The Crimson Collar from Eloise. The proprietor of the furniture makers by the coach stop is spearheading the search. Wear that, and he will know you for a friend. I suggest that you speak with him first. The furniture makers. Understood. All right. Catch a thief. Oh, he's all the way back here. Out of my sight, wretch. Oh. Hey, I'm just walking here. Come on, come on. No. 
caravan stops next to the checkpoint. Are you the furniture maker? Looking for something in particular? Ah, and a wee collared you too, eh? Then I expect you want to know more. She told me you were leading the hunt for the pickpockets. What have you learned? For one, that they're targeting the traders carrying the biggest packs. Mm -hmm. Harder to watch your back, see? And less chance of the mark giving chase if they're spotted. Not that they'd be likely to catch them. Those imps know every inch of this warren like the backs of their hands. Their eyes must have lit up when they saw Goots. <laughs> the fishmonger, when I'm by the gate, has been trying to track down the children involved. You should go and have a word with her. Goots is a big boy. Thank you. We will. Fishmonger, okay. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. You should come with me to the no. Dominion. Life Fish for sale! Fresh sorted and smoked! Can I interest you? Ah, sorry. Message from Eloise, is it? She's asked me to help her. To help you find the pickpockets. Is that so? Suppose I better tell you what I know then. For one, this isn't a family operation. All the traders say the children who stole their passes were dirty, dressed in rags. Mm -hmm. Street urchins, by the sound of it. Mm -hmm. We get a lot around here. Orphans from the wars. A few, perhaps. You saw the refugees gathered by the entranceway? They're all looking for a new start in the Dominion and beyond. Some of them take it as an opportunity to rid themselves of unwanted baggage. The shame of it. Whoever's behind this would have to have made themselves known to the children at some point. And so should we. You should start with the children around here, then. I doubt they're the ones involved, but they might have heard something. Are we going to have to talk to, like, three different children? All right, then. Questioning children. How hard can that be? You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. Do you have a moment? What do you want? <coughs> what I want is to know who's asking children like you to pick pockets. I don't know. Nobody's asked me. What's picking pockets? Do you get paid for it? <coughs> no, uh, you get in trouble for it. So if they come calling, you know what to tell them. Dude, didn't you know what pickpocketing was? What a sweet, what a sweet innocent soul. It sounds like me when I was playing Overwatch. I didn't even know what Smegma was. I don't think I remember what Smegma is either. Take the large one. Excuse me. Do you mind if I ask you something? Can't stop me. I was just wondering if anyone has asked you to do anything out of the ordinary recently. Anything you grown-ups ever ask us to do is shut up and go away. So guess what I'm about to tell Yo, you? Yo, Smegma! Sorry. I'll leave you alone. I don't know what Smegma is! I can't remember! Doesn't that have something to do with the... Gina? Oh, it's dick cheese? But what's... Oh, is that like... Is that... Come? Unwashed, uncut dick. Of snake spit for the road. Ew. It'll keep you warm. Excuse me. What do you want? I, I I don't have any money. It's all right. We're not going to hurt you. We just want to talk. But what, what about? We've heard that some very bad people are making children like you steal from travelers. We need to know who's behind it so we can stop them. I don't know much about it, really. But my friend, 
Honza, he... he said he got a job. Doing something dangerous. Sounds promising. We need to find him enough. Not for Hansa. Do you know where your friend might be? He's usually by the tent outside town. Thank you. You've been very helpful. Ew, what are you doing? That's the uh Me figuring out what smeg was the first time and I forgot about it four years later. And then I, I Googled it and I made a sound and then I made that sound my gifted sub sound for a very long time. Ew, what are you doing? And now my gifted sub sounds are all over the place. She must have been the refugee camp. Let's hope he's still nearby. <laughs> that big fat donkey was easy pickings. He wouldn't have noticed if we robbed his boots off him. God, kids are such assholes. Yeah. Wish we hadn't handed over the pass, though. Could use one of those things to get out of this dump. Chance would be a fine thing. The moment they found out, they'd string us up by our guts. Why is his voice so much deeper than everybody know. else's? Perhaps you'd like to introduce us to these charming characters. Shit, we're in trouble now. What do we do? You two get caught if you want. I'm off. Hunter, where are you going? So that was Hunter, eh? Jill, you watch these two. I'm going after him. All right. Oh, don't make a scene and rush after him. He can't have gone far. I need to find him before his employers do. Daddy. Did you see a boy run past? He stole something from a friend of mine. There was a boy ran back there towards the chocobo pen, but... Thank you. What? That's it? What? Mm -mm -mm, big cheese for dinner. Got myself a tummy ache. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm, smack my princess. after eating too much ice cream i got some cookies and cream ice cream in my freezer you want some this is everything it must be Go to the dominion without delay where the hell is this kid Nice lane. I just want to ask you some questions. And in there, he's hogging us. I'm looking for the people who are making you steal for them. Who are they? They call themselves the Car Stones. They said they'd give me good gill if I did what they told me. I knew they were bad, but bread doesn't come for free. Didn't come at all half the time before I started buzzing for them. And you know, if I didn't do it, they'd just pick on someone else. Someone that could push around easier. Hansa. You found him then? Jill. Where are the other two? Eloise is watching over them. She sent Goots and I to look for you. <laughs> you him! I haven't got your pass anymore, if that's what you're after. I gave it to the Car Stones. Whatever you do to me, I can't get it back. Not that I go against them anyway. If it weren't for that gill, me and my mates would have starved. Oh. Oh, that's convenient. The cast stones are going to be right behind me. Cowards. You will not force another child to do your bidding. Oh, no. We're not. <laughs> Don't hurt him. <laughs> You're making a mistake. We're on the same side. Like hell we are. 
That brooch. Where did you get it? Uh, Master Theo. <laughs> Huh? Oh, Groot, if he's Master Theo, why don't you come out? What are you doing with these people? Oh, he saw him. Unless you're the ones my sister was talking about. Your sister? Eloise didn't tell us she had a brother. I went, what does she need to? I'm just her back and a blade. Theodore, at your service. Sorry about before. Oh, Theodore, I... what do you know of the cast stones? Vultures who have made Bogglad their hunting ground. They prey on the desperate, stealing from those with Gil and bullying those without it into joining their flock. I'd been looking into their activities in hope of sparing the refugees any further hardship. But it seems they've already stooped even lower than I'd feared. Hans is a good lad. Don't blame him for what they've made him do. If he and his friends hadn't agreed to work for the stones, some other poor souls would have. On pain of death, most likely. Clive, was it? And my sister has asked you to help put an end to the pickpocketing. Then we all want the same thing. Oh, quest complete. All right, well, we can do another one. We can get these. We can get the pass back. That's for sure. Oh, where is it? So, what's the plan? What else? We find the car stones and we crush them. You get your traders pass back, and I make Bogglad a safe place again. Sounds good to me. All right then. Honza, where are they camped? Don't worry. They'll never know you told us. Couldn't if I wanted to. They always come to town to collect the passes. Meet us outside the gate. I tried following them once, but they spotted me halfway down the trail. Said they'd string me up. We'll try it this time. Which way were they going? Back down the road towards Leighton's Cleft. Okay. To Leighton's Cleft then. We can do that. Blood from the stones, quest accepted. Alright, let's do it. Maybe this will be the last quest. Because I am quite tired. My back is drenched in sweat. If you didn't know, this room is probably 33 degrees Celsius right now. It's kind of just, you know, sticky. I got two lights on me. I got a giant PC on and this room is very tiny. Because it's a den. 33? I would guess something. I would guess 30s. It is very hot. It's like hot out there, but compared to what this room is, it's like a, it's like going into the pool for the first two seconds for me. It's nice. That's the one who's been sticking his nose in our business. 91 Fahrenheit. You should have minded your We do have a fan on the way. We can't we can't really get an AC in this room because there's it's not near a window. So it would be kind of impossible to get an AC in here, but we have a fan coming. And it should be a good fan. It's a tower fan. So hopefully that will help cool down the room. We got company. No, fuck you.
I feel like it's very hard to get a move with the rocks off. Or maybe I just don't need to get the, the big combos. I can just, you know, attack. All right. Fewer now. Third time's the charm. Oh, there's a big guy. Not hey, Mello. Today, eh? How are you? Aye. Some of our new recruits are natural born ne'er do wells. Especially the little ones. That Hans has got nimble fingers, all right. <laughs> It'll be a shame when they chop them off. But till then, let's make the most of it. Scum. The leaders of the cast stones, I take it. They don't deserve any mercy, Clive. I wasn't planning on showing them any. We're ready when you are, Theodore. Oh, I'm ready. I have a feeling Theodore's gonna die. It's that guard from Buckland. Kill him! Kill them all! <laughs> to get some health back i didn't get anything though ow That hit me. Oh, come on. Cookies and cream are moose track, which is like fudge swore with peanut butter cups. Cookies and cream is good. I suck at fighting, but that's fine. I can blame it on me being tired. <laughs> and they say crime doesn't pay. Gold chains, rings, purses. Ah, and traitors' passes. Dozens of them. Have the names been changed? Not yet. I recognize some of them. No doubt Gootz's is somewhere among them. Now I just need to sort through it all and return everything to the people it was taken from. We should go and give Eloise the good news. Can we leave things here in your hands, Theodore? Of course. Oh, and, uh, be sure to tell her of the part I played, won't you? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I could take all the credit for myself, you know? I could take all the credit myself and be deemed a hero. But Clive is not that type of person. I am not that type of person. Clive isn't either, so we, we won't. But we could. But we won't. Good. Thanks for my lurking chill spot tonight, Bert. Gotta head to bed soon, though. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. I appreciate it. This is a very 
I will say I, this game has a, a good amount of action when there's action, but this game is also very cozy with all the cutscenes that makes it a very good, nice little chill stream. So thanks for watching. Much appreciated, even though I'm drenched in sweat and feel like I'm going down a water slide. There are no crystals here. Daddy. I'm hungry. That's that then. Ah, Clive. How goes the hunt? My brother isn't getting in your way, I trust? Quite the opposite. Imagine instead of doing two streams a day, what if we did three two and a half hour streams a day? So it was the cast stones who were behind it all. Theo told me he'd been on their trail. And their demise solves three problems at a stroke. That of the pickpockets, the bandits pulling their strings, and the passes they were stealing. I only hope yours is among the items you recovered. Only time and Theo's return. For the heart of the, thank the, 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 the heart of the story, they'll, they'll be ours. I'm Speaking sure. of whom, welcome home, dear brother. You are too kind, Eloise. Here, Clive. Goods is pass. Ask him to keep a closer eye on it from now on, would you? I will. Thank you. El, I've asked our boys to carry the rest of the goods back. Can I count on your help in sorting through it all? Of course. I'll make some space in the storeroom. I expect you'll soon be on your way then. But it wouldn't do to leave without introducing yourself properly, would it now? Sid. Don't look so shocked. We're on the same side. You didn't look that shocked. As you now know all too well, we at the Crimson Caravans are always happy to help those in need. For a small fee, we will move anything that needs moving. Be that goods to market, or bearers away from it. I was the first my sister helped escape. If it wasn't for her, I'd have been branded as a boy. I had no idea. It just so happens that we are seeking to expand our operation. And who better to join forces with than the leader in the field? Wouldn't you agree, Theo? I would. It seems our purpose is the same in more ways than one. So what would you say to working together again? Jill does have personality. It would be our pleasure. She has developed a lot. The honor is ours. Here, Clive. This is for you. I like Jill a lot. What is it? Elle has friends in high places while I have associates in uh, lower ones. That mark is proof that you're a friend to us both. Oh, they joined. I shall bear it with pride. Well, all that remains is to wish you a safe onward journey. Also, hi, Shiny. Hope you're well. You a place on the caravan. But if you encounter any difficulties, we would be delighted to provide you with a coach of our own. For a discounted price, of course. Say, nine million? We'll try the caravan. Quest. Um. Wait, what about Onward? That one not done yet? Or is that like the long haul game? That might be the long haul one. That is the long Let's haul one. We'll speak with Goots. I think she grows. She, she's grown a lot. But this is also part 18 on the on the Bird Let's Play channel. Sleep well, because I'm going to go to sleep soon, too. It's freaking 916. Try not to lose it again. Me pass. You found it. Oh, thank 
you so much. Nan would have killed me if I'd come back without it. I'll have to say thanks to Ellen, Theo, too. So should you, Hanza. You and your friends don't have to steal anymore. If anyone threatens you again, you know who to turn to. We do. And we already have. Miss L's given us a job shifting the chocobo shit out of the stables. And it's hard work, and the pay isn't half what we got from the stones. But if we stick at it, we'll keep ourselves fit. <laughs> you stick at it, then. And Goots, I'm sorry for stealing your pass. Nah, that's all right. I've got it back now. And all's well that ends well, eh? You said you're trained to be a blacksmith, right? Well, I'm gonna be your first customer. I'm gonna save up all my gear and get you to make me a massive sword. I'll do me best. <laughs> Till then, eh? Good, good. Place on the wagon. Remember, Goots, we're mercenaries. You hide us to protect you. But mercenaries. <laughs> Goots is gonna fuck this up somehow. Now remember the plan. You're to ride all the way to Twinside. Jill and I will go with you as far as the outskirts, then find our own way in. I'll buy that stuff I need. Right. And we'll scout out the Imperial's defences. There's a square with a big bell tower right in the middle of town. If you get lost, or out goes wrong, we can meet up there. All right. Let's go. Oh, look at that mother crystal. Seat of the Imperial Court. I see. And you're quite certain your father has no knowledge of Ultima. I am. I have no difficulty believing a sinister force has come to exert an influence on San Breck. But be that as it may, it is yet to claim my father. For better or worse, his radiance speaks his own mind. It's Joshua. And the fiend walks from the shadows. I confess, when first you told me of this fiend, I had my doubts. And more than a few at that. A beast that labors to plunge Valisthea into turmoil, all in pursuit of your brother. But that wound is proof enough that evil is afoot. Then I have your answer, your highness. You will join me in my fight. I cannot. No! Not yet. Mm -hmm. Your highness, please. As you are aware, the Dalmechian army is at our gates. They have lost their mother crystal, and with it all hope of a negotiated withdrawal. It is but a matter of time before they invade. If Bahamut is not here to meet them, my people will be slaughtered. Though not by Hugo Kupka, thanks to Ultima's machinations. I know the fate of your people weighs heavy on your conscience, but if we do not put an end to Ultima's plans, they shall face a far darker fate. The chaos he would wreak would sweep all of Valisthea into the abyss. The lives of every man, woman, and child in the Twins are at stake. I believe what you say, Phoenix. But I have duties of my own, and I must discharge them. Come what may. It's getting pretty intense, man. It's getting pretty intense. What do you know of my blood? Oh. Are 
I know that it is wholly unworthy of the highest offices of state, which rightly belong to those of purer breeding. Alas. Homophobic piece of Your shit. Your bloodline runs through the Oriflam gutter, from a whore who weighed her child's worth in gill. Have you threatened my father? <laughs> of course not. I merely whispered in his ear. That his mongrel son is plotting a rebellion. What? Sylvester listens to the words of his astrologers. And they have ears too. You have been feeding them your lies! Should you remain loyal to Emperor Olivier, his radiance may yet crown your head with laurel, and not with tar. <sighs> Fork tongued witch! In consideration of your long years of service to the Empire, I shall forgive this uncharacteristic rudeness. God, I hate her. Now hurry and make ready, your Imperial Highness. Emperor Olivier expects much of you, Dion. Or should I say, of Bahamut. May your fire reduce his enemies to ash. Till all of Valisthea bows to its rightful ruler. Clive's mom is so cold hearted. There is another darkness that has taken hold of Sandbrack. And until its grip is released, the flames of war shall spread ever wider, just as ultimately. Oh, that's Josh's mom, too. Forgive me. My family has caused you much grief. You are not her keeper, Phoenix. This is a matter for the Imperial household now, and as a member of that household, it falls to me to resolve it. Such time as that is done, what strength I have shall be yours. I hope he doesn't die. Thank you, Your Highness. Mm. Let us take to the skies together and bring a new dawn to Valisthea. I should like nothing more. Dion's nice. I like Dion. Terence. My prince. Tell me true. Do you believe what I'm about to do is wrong? I... We Dragoons have but one leader, Your Highness. And we shall follow him unto the very end. Thank you. This is my decree. Dude, this shit's about to get so intense. Their crimes against the crown, the traitorous Annabella, and her usurping son shall be put to death, and the Empire restored. Let's go, Dion. I'm here for it. All right, well, YouTube Let's Play, you can stop there and you have to watch next time.